welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And today we are doing another attempt at making a DIY color reveal Barbie. So another one of your very helpful suggestions on my failed Cheeto Barbie. Yes, she still looks like this. So we're getting justice for Cheeto Barbie. Um, my, my, your other suggestion was tempera paint. Now, uh, I was a little dubious about this and I have to tell you why. I can't get Cheeto Barbie back in the thing. She doesn't want to go in. She's like, no, set me free. So I have um, Crayola washable tempera artista tool paint here in green because tempera paint doesn't come in a bunch of cool colors because it's the paint, there's like cat fuzz all over this lovely, look at this, I couldn't find, I'm running out of doll stands so I have a black thing and a base in white, I don't know. So, um, so this is the paint that you may remember from your childhood, um, you know, like you used this in kindergarten, first grade, maybe, maybe um, we used to call it nursery school, now they call it preschool. And um, it has a certain smell. And I haven't opened it yet because that smell, well, it's not a good memory for me. For some reason, whenever I smell tempera paint, like when I go into a classroom and I smell it, um, it makes me really sad. I don't know why. I'm just gonna assume, <laughs> as to do with my somewhat less than spectacular childhood. So, <laughs> Um, I wonder why this woman collects dolls and toys. She's 52, but she plays with dolls and toys. What psychologically could that be about? <laughs> um, so, but we're gonna go for it here. And I need to get my nails done. So I, I, my nails, not that my nails are ever of any use whatsoever. I mean, I've got acrylic nails. What good are they other than looking real pretty? And I'm getting them done the same exact color, by the way. This will be the third time I'm getting, this is called, uh, it's number 25. But come on, doesn't it look like, wait, 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 come on camera, see my fingernails. Doesn't it look like pink champagne? Look at, look at, like, like 10 inches of growth there, but doesn't it look like pink champagne? It makes me so happy. It's number 25, um, but I don't remember what brand. Uh, okay, oh, I just splashed tempera paint all over. Okay. It doesn't smell like the stuff that used to be in the cups at the school so far. I just have these memories of these big giant brushes with these big long wooden handles and then like paper cups filled with like stinky tempera paint and big easels and you had to wear your dad's shirt backwards. But I didn't have a dad. So I don't know what I wore. I was probably wearing my grandma's house coat or something. Um, and uh, no, this does not smell like that, but this does not smell good either. Mm. This is non-toxic. Whoa, it smells like, like I don't wanna smell it again. <laughs> it smells like, like burnt rubber, honestly. Okay, well that's gonna be awesome. I'm sorry about that pink unicorn chick Barbie <laughs> that I have four of. <laughs> Let's take off your shoes and your skirt and cover you in nasty smelling green paint. <laughs> but it might wash off. This time it might work. It might, it might. But just know that you're very popular. I'm so popular. I am the most popular of all of the color of all Barbies. Everybody loves me. They love me so much, so much. So I'm just gonna, oh, that came out a lot faster than I thought it was going. Oh, that's a lot of green paint. Okay. Mm, give that to my friend who runs a preschool. <sighs> yes, I have a friend who works at a preschool and they get all of the stuff. Okay, and I have brushes. All right, so let's just wait. I need to get my tea bag out of my tea. Look at this little mug, isn't it cute? It looks like a little sweater. I love this mug. I can't remember who gave it to me. Someone wonderful. People always give me giant mugs because I love giant mugs. All right, is the tea the perfect temperature? Yes, I am delaying. And no, I'm not editing this out. Still on kidney stone watch because 
this video is being filmed like five minutes after I filmed the other one. So I have not passed a kidney stone in those five minutes. Um, you know, is she gonna talk about kidney stones forever? Yeah, because I have two more marbles in there. This could be my new life. I should start a channel. If I do pass a kidney stone, we should give it its own channel. Oh yes, you know when like the tea or the coffee, I don't drink coffee, is like the perfect temperature. And it just makes everything right with your world. Even the smell of this, which is not temper, which is good. So I'm not being triggered, but now I'm just being disgusted. All right. One more sip, I swear. Sweet Willie's gonna film upstairs when I'm done, so I have to hurry it up. He needs the camera. We have more than one camera, but we can't find them. We think that they're in my luggage and he just packed, like left them in my luggage and threw my luggage in the attic. Okay, let's start. All right, so we're just gonna, okay, here we go. We're gonna start as we always do at the beginning with a big blob on her head. Oh yes. Oh, this is already looking good. See, this has good possibilities. I mean, it definitely covers, but oh yes. Oh yes, this is good. Oh, this is a very pretty green. This is like, you know, this was, this is the green you would make grass out of if you were a child painting a scene, you know, of your family, you know, grandma, sometimes grandpa, if he's not out gambling on the horses, you know, <laughs> mom, when she's there, you two older brothers, the occasional dad, he changes though. He's not always the same person. And, uh, <laughs> No childhood trauma behind any of my behavior. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, this has got promise. She looks like Swamp Thing. Remember Swamp Thing? Great movie. The one with the one with Adrian Barbo. Like, please, none of the remakes. Only movies with Adrian Barbo are good. Those are the only ones. Oh. Oh, and we have introduced, and we're gonna watch as a family movie, but uh, we're introducing Caden to Escape from New York. And because that's da my favorite movie and daddy's favorite movie, Sweet Willie's favorite movie. We bonded when we met over that because that's no one's favorite movie, right? <laughs> You're like, how is that your favorite movie? Um, and like, we can do all the dialogue and like all that kind of stuff. Like, why are there not festivals for Escape from New York where we dress up as people from the movie? Come on. Because everyone will want to dress up as Snake Plissken. But maybe, maybe I'd want to dress up as Maggie. I don't know. I don't look anything like Adrian Barba though. Whew. But um Okay, get in here. Okay. Now we gotta do the important part is the legs. So do you have an odd favorite cult movie like that? Like Escape from New York? And we're just gonna pretend Escape from LA never happened. Um Yeah. And then The Thing, which is also a Kurt Russell movie. I have, I have a thing. I guess I have a thing for Kurt Russell movies. But he made some really great movies with John Carpenter, and the thing is the uh, that movie was so good. So good. That was so well done. So well done. And then we also want, um, we gotta we got get Caden to watch Alien. Um, the second one, not the first one, the second one, the good one where Ripley's all badass and stuff. Pardon my French. Um, yeah, I've got a song stuck in my head and I can't sing it because I've got content ID. So we're gonna get her legs good and tempered because we want a good, very satisfying uh, swirl when we when we do this. This went much faster than the gouache! Um, let's make sure her feet, let's just dip her feet right in the paint since I have it here. Oh, dip your feet in the paint. Oh yeah. All right, now get on there. Come on, drip, drip, drip. Oh wait, her legs don't have enough on them. I think this looks like it's gonna dissolve faster, but I want it to be pretty, um, pretty thick on her. Now it looks like she's just got like a skin disease. <laughs> this is fun. It looks like she got slimed. All right, get your feet back up here so you can dry. All right. So, oh wait, I missed the back of her head. Eh, oh yeah, there we go. I make sure that's good and gooey. All right. So this is probably gonna take a while to dry. Um, and while these guys take a while to dry, I'm gonna open some other dolls because then Sweet Willie's gonna want this camera. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, we got this. I think this time it's gonna succeed. All right, we'll be back in a flash. Okay, so after our epic gouache failure, 
I'm feeling somewhat less optimistic about Green Army Guy Barbie. So this is the Tempera Barbie. And she does look like a Green Army Man or Swamp Thing. One of the two. I'm hoping that we might get that satisfying reaction, but... It's so hard to be me! <laughs> All I want is to not have to keep buying these things to get the satisfying moment. Okay, let's not spill the water. I learned from my mistake. It's Okay, so she's still a little juicy up in the face area. <laughs> Because uh, I really laid it on thick, but um, oh, I cannot wait to get my hair cut. Um, so, <laughs> pretend there's fanfare music. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Maybe it's going to surprise us. Now, yeah. here we go. The feet are going in. Now, I should note her feet are a little drippy, so there might be some excitement that is unwarranted. Um... Now somebody said baking soda. Didn't somebody say to mix baking soda in with paint? <gasps> okay, all right. It's flaking again. But we are getting something. <laughs> it's just not... There has to be another substance mixed into the paint they use. And I'm pretty sure that paint gets sprayed on dry, I'm guessing. Mm. I don't know. It's pretty not satisfying. Just drown her. Gurgle, 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 gurgle. Well, that's kind of cool looking though. That's a little freaky. That'd be good to keep around for Halloween. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's washable paint, so it's going to wash off, but, uh, mmm. Oh, very Swamp Thing looking now, because she's all drippy. Okay. All right. Suggestions. People with a scientific background. What could we mix in the paint? Alka-Seltzer? Baking soda? What could we mix into our paint that might give us that swirly kind of reveal that we're looking for. Help me science the heck out of this thing, okay? Mm. But thank you so much for watching and for going on this journey with me. I'm gonna go power wash her in the sink so we have more, uh, more, more attempts. Yay! Awesome! <laughs> Why can't I ever have anything good happen? Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye!